Hello friends, hope all of you are doing great. As you see in the screen, uh, this is the RGS interface. And uh, today I'm gonna show you how to reclassify a raster data uh, by RGS. As you see in the screen, it is the, uh, you are seeing a red uh, mark boundary. It's actually polder embankment boundary. This is uh, polder 59 by two uh, in the coastal area of Bangladesh, uh, which is located in Lakshmipur district. Anyways, and the uh, uh, raster data as a DEM, DEM, as you see the land level in the layers. There is no attribute table in the uh, raster data. Like, see, there is no attribute table, it is disabled. So, if you want to classify uh, this uh, raster data, uh, we will get a, a attribute table which will be useful for our next uh, analysis so let's see how to do it uh, first of all you will have to search either you, you can go to your um, specific tool through our toolbox or you can just simply search by pressing ctrl F or clicking on here then search by reclassify and a, a list of number of tools will be appeared in the search panel and uh, you will have to click on reclassify special analyst a new window will pop up on your screen Input raster. Input raster is this one. My land level of this polar is uh, 1.8 to 6.3, 1.8 to 6.3, and uh, I have new value values uh, to 1 to 9, and it is it is automatically. <coughs> It has been created a list automatically 1 to 8.2.5 this type of list we have just seen see 1.8 to 2.5 elevation it will be considered as number one value and 2.5 to 2.8 it will be considered as two or you can classify as per your requirement by clicking on classify see i want to give manual interval 2.5 first then 2.5 let's say 2.75 we I am giving as 0.3 as increment 3 point sorry 0.25 actually then 3.5 then here I want to give 4, here I have used increment 0.5, then this is 5, and last of all 6.5, okay. Four is doubled, so this is 4.5, okay. So my manual break values have just created and then click on OK. So this is my input raster and this is my output raster. First of all, uh, you can just uh, export or you can just click OK, uh, keeping the by default output raster. Uh, so if you want to change the uh, location, 
it may generate error so it's better to keep the by default location now, or you can change it but it may generate error so just avoid this error uh, we can just ex uh, export our data or we will reclassify our dame data in the default location okay it's processing right now once it's done I'll get a message here or oh, you can see yeah my reclassification has just been done see there is nine class now if you want to see the attribute table see attribute table is now enable in the DEM TF, TF uh, file or raster file see there is no attribute table but still you can see the value in the DEM just like identify clicking on the identify icon you can see the land level of any point see here the land level is uh, land level is there the land level is 3.38 2.87 2.84 uh, like this so you can still see the land level in every points clicking on the identify but there is no attribute table if you want to see the attribute table see there is the attribute table uh, there is a new value i have just shown you a range uh, it is considered as value and in the number of count number of count means let's say this is mine this dm is 25 by 25 meter resolution 25 by 25 meters resolution one value is 2910 that means my one is uh, what was uh, the one is one is uh, the range was uh, 1.52 or 2 and that is considered as one and the count is 2910 that means uh, from 1.5 to 2 uh, land level has 2910 cell means area these cells are uh, are of 1.5 to 2 land level area so th that will be this data will be further uh, used uh, in area elevation curve in my next video how to uh, make area elevation curve or, or what it is or how to use area elevation curve in different uh, perspective of uh, water resource engineering till then goodbye see you if you like this uh, tutorial please share with your friends and subscribe thank you